The Halo TV show is planning to bring in some new and familiar characters to it. Some of these newer characters are part of Halo's lore but haven't really gotten the time to shine. So in this video, I'm going to answer the question, who are these Spartans? If you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here and today we're doing a bit of a Halo lore video talking about the Halo TV show. If you'd like to see more analytical videos like this, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel get a better place within that all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo news and TV show and lore, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So let's get right into the content here. So when I was watching the Halo TV show trailer, I was asking myself this question, who are these Spartans? Because we're going to see a lot of them as they make up part of Silver Team with the mask are cheap. These are going to be main characters within the show. So I decided to go in, do some research on these characters. Now, most of the information I'll be providing to you guys is from Halopedia, link in the description down below. That's the number one place you want to go to for any Halo lore and information. So let's just jump right into it. The group of Spartans that are going to be teaming up with the Master Chief in the show are Kai125, Vanek134, and Riz028. The one thing all these Spartans have in common, including with the Master Chief, is that they're all Spartan 2s that were trained on the planet of reach alongside master chief and the blue team members that we know of like kelly linda and fred the spartan 2 program was the first major success of the spartan program there was originally the Orion Project, which actually Sergeant Johnson was a part of that didn't really exactly play out as well for the Spartan program. Spartan 2's experienced the most extensive and invasive physical augmentations out of all the Spartan generations. Starting augmentations at early pubescent ages increased their physical mass and height around 7 feet as an adult. All Spartan 2s were kidnapped as children and replaced with Flash clones that would soon die afterwards. To marginalize the civilian lives those children once had, their names became a combination of their given name and a number dropping the family name altogether. For example, John, the Master Chief, is known as John 117. They are all Spartan 2s that fought within the Human Covenant War. They trained alongside with Master Chief on the planet Reach throughout the same period. Under the training of Franklin Mendez, Sergeant Mendez, who's actually going to be part of the show. He's going to be part of one episode, so there's going to be some flashback information as well on these characters to keep an eye on. Franklin Mendez, who is involved with the training of every super soldier of both Spartan 2s and Spartan 3 programs. Mendez is a battle-hardened veteran who has won numerous decorations, including multiple gold gold stars, silver stars, bronze stars, three purple hearts, and the Legion of Honor. And he was the Spartan 2's training leader during the first years of Reach from 2517 to 2525. Mendez would train them in aspects of combat as hard as any Marine, and they were only children of six years old. Then after military training, they would go to the AI Deja, who would provide them strategy lessons and history lessons, specifically the Battle of Thermopylae. And then training these Spartans went through was rather grueling. At the beginning of their training, CP Mendez and his training instructors would use electric batons to discipline the trainees that were kind of referred to as shock sticks. But eventually Spartans, including John 117, the Master Chief in particular, came to revere Mendez as a solid, unmovable force within their lives. Kind of almost became like a father figure to these young Spartan children, where Catherine Halsey became a bit of a mother figure. And we saw this motherly-like interaction with Spartans with George during Reach, where he referred to Catherine Halsey as mom. George, it's been too long. Mom. What have you done with my armor? Just some additions I've made. Indeed. Now the type of character Mendes will play as within the show, he'll be a strict by the book military man who has a strong sense of duty and honor. Now Mendes will only be in one episode of the nine that is going to be part of the Halo TV show, but he's going to be a very crucial part to these Spartans as they form who they are and become. And for the individual Spartans, let's start off with Riz028, who has a bit more of a backstory compared to the other two. Riz, who was 28 out of the 150 children of similar age that was selected by the genetic markers that they have for the Spartan 2 program. Riz and other children began to learn counter interrogation techniques, in particular that of seizing the initiative. There's another Spartan within the show who also has some counter interrogation technique training, but we'll talk about him in a specific episode. Riz 028 in the show will be a forced professional and deadly Spartan. 
Of course, this character will be fleshed out more throughout the entirety of the show, which we'll be doing plenty of analytical videos about once the show does go live. The next Spartan on our list is Vanek134. Now, there isn't a whole lot written about this Spartan, as he really was created for the show to be part of the squad, but he is a Spartan too who fought in the Covenant War as well, and they've described his character as he serves as the de facto deputy to the Master Chief, so basically his right-hand man in a way. And we kind of see that already within the show when they're walking in formation, you see Vanek walking in front with Riz and Kai walking behind him as well. So whenever the Master Chief is out of service, Vanek 134 is the de facto leader of the group. Kai 125 is also a Spartan 2 trained along the Master Chief and other Spartans on Reach at the same time, along with the group of Kelly, Linda, and Fred, Sam, and all the other Spartan 2s you guys have come to know and love. Just like the Master Chief and other Spartan 2s, Kai went through a grueling training process. So her, along with the other Spartans within the show are going to have a bit of a camaraderie connection with each other because they all grew up together. They all went through the same process, the same training, and so this is going to be something that will be brought up within the show. The short description of Kai about the TV show describes her as a courageous, curious, and deadly Spartan. Kai being the Spartan that we see being the curious one about looking into the Halo ring that is revealed within the trailer as well. Now there's one other Spartan that's going to be part of the Halo TV show, that is Soren 066, but he deserves his own full video as he has a full length backstory and a very interesting storyline that definitely needs to be covered in its own video because right now we're just talking about Silver Team. But if you want to catch that video and others like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep yourself up to date with everything going on with Halo guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.